Hey y'all, so I am in the vintage or on the edge of the vintage. I just plugged my car into charge and I thought I would run across the street with y'all. Literally. And show y'all the vintage. So the very first like main staple of the vintage is going to be the HEV. Which is our grocery store here inside of the shopping center you have lots of options chipotle's down there which 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 is a burger but not burger place but sandwich place unless it's sh shut down it's in here there's banks and dry cleaners we're gonna cross the street so you see we're at luetta and vintage park drive so when someone talks about the vintage, they're typically talking about this shopping center in here. Oh, they dug up trees, how crazy. I assume they all died. So we've seen a lot of turnover in the vintage. They opened it, I believe in 2008 or a little bit prior. And so when the economy crashed, <laughs> it definitely affected this shopping center. <clears throat> I feel like we're finally seeing healthy growth and stability. So to me, it's it's normal. Like this is exactly the way it should have been. So I don't know exactly how much we'll have time for, but we're on the outside right now. Here's Potbelly Eye Care Center. There's a really, I don't know if I'll get all the way around, but right behind here is a really good Indian food restaurant. Kind of like fast food-ish, but one of my favorites. So we eat at Potbelly sometimes. Now that I can't have bread, we don't eat there that much, but Hop Dottie is amazing. They have gluten-free buns, but I've never, like in the last few years, never eaten a bun, so I just take the bun off anyways. I got so used to it, so why? Why eat it if you don't need it? So Hop Dottie is a burger place. <clears throat> On the left is a Starbucks up here. There is Salada in here, which is really good. I'm gonna go down the center and walk around. Again, there's Starbucks. The weather is amazing. I, my Apple Watch, I didn't charge it, so it's in the car charging, but the weather, it feels like, I don't know, like 78 degrees but there, maybe it's 80-ish, but there's a breeze right now and it feels so good. It's, when there's a little bit of humidity, you always think there's no humidity. So I'm gonna say it feels like there's no humidity, but I assume there's a little bit of humidity. So there's this chicken, hot chicken restaurant on the left. They opened, shut down, remodeled and opened again. So they have a big outdoor seating. It used to be PDQ, which was, when I used to eat chicken, it was my favorite chicken place. And then across the street is a neighborhood called Vintage Lakes. And there's a lot of really nice apartment complexes around the vintage. If it would have been, if it would not have been 2008, you would see a whole different landscape here residentially. I think you would have seen a lot more townhomes kind of what you see in the woodlands around Market Street. That Venetian nail spa is really nice. That um, Moe's, it's a really cool like evening. They have restaurant, they have a restaurant, but barish type place. Sharky's is newer. It's just a little too, um, a little too, there's a lot of, a little too commercial for me. But what's really cool about the vintage is there's a whole bunch of shops and boutiques and the Star Cinema Grill. <clears throat> this is probably our favorite place to come see a movie. One, it's so close to my house, but two, um, you can kill two birds with one stone because they have dinner. So this one just shut down. I assume it will be another boutique, but they have not changed the signage since before COVID at least the scoop sign, so that's hilarious. So Aveda, which is a hair salon is in here. This is one of the best 
Mexican food restaurant, in my opinion. I love their crab nachos. It is very pricey though. That is probably the most expensive Mexican restaurant that I've come across in the area. I assume they're like fajitas and things like that are really yummy. It is not Edward's favorite. The crepe place is amazing. The chef's table is amazing. Oh no, it shut down. Where it says Center Court Pizza and Brew was I think like a German cafe and it was to die for. But the chef's table, you've seen us eat there. Brie, Mia Bella. So typically there's outdoor music out here and it's just such a lovely place on Friday and Saturday evening. So Francesca's, which my kids love. Shogun is back there. The most popular restaurants are the ones around the water. The Taylor. So this is clean juice. You've seen it a lot on the channel. <laughs> it's usually involved in my vlogs. Barcelona is popular. This gift shop is really nice. I've bought a lot of gifts in there before. Lots of variety. And then Fleet Fleet is awesome. It's like a tennis shoe store. They can have a really good rewards program. This Fox File Candle Works is also, has also been featured on the channel and on the Instagram. You get to make your own candles. It's really cool. Super, super cool. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> I have no case on my phone today. So you have tons of like normal retail places. There's another, what is this one? B Divine Furniture Decor Drapery and Design. So a higher end boutique. And then another Mexican restaurant. This is a pottery place. So like, do you want pottery? Scarlet would love this. And then you have office suites in here so you can like rent an office. Um, it wraps, like, as you can see, there's more parking back there. There's more commercial, like, re not retail, but office space back there. Something really unique about this shopping center is they have, I'm gonna butcher the name right now, but one of those co-working spaces, they have that here. It's really nice, I've been in there a couple times. So that brings a lot of activity to the area. <clears throat> so next to Francesca's was Anything Bling Boutique. This treat right here is cupcakes to die for. <clears throat> I ate, I went out to eat like three times in the last two days, which is like a huge no-no for me. And I ate food off diet. Like I've been prescribed a diet by my doctor and I have been dying. I slept 17 hours and this is the first thing I've done since waking up and I have not had enough water yet. See the fountain down there, how pretty it is. Yes. <laughs> this is a really, really peaceful place to hang out. There's a really good ice cream place down here. It's called Chemistry. I'll show it to y'all. And then I think I need to run back to my car because we're 10 minutes in. <laughs> Isn't the sky beautiful? Creamistry, creamistry. And then another boutique. All of these boutiques are fun. I brought Cameron here for her 16th birthday and let her shop up and down the street. French Violet. So tons of parking. There's seriously a whole parking lot on the backside. 
hydration spa. Salon and boutique hair, skin, nails, body. I assume a whole bunch of people are in there like it's sweet driven. And then on the right, we have another boutique called Lula Blue. And macaron and pastries. Center, Gen X, testosterone and weight loss. So here's one entrance to the work lodge. That was co-working space and then cycle, cycle bar. There's the Indian food restaurant I love, Fred Astaire dance studio. Another, all this stuff falls in the same category. <laughs> what would you call this? Like future health? <laughs> and then this is a really good breakfast restaurant. I'm not gonna butcher the name. Let's see which one it is exactly. Another broken egg cafe. So there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a couple tutoring places here. It's Verizon and Postnet. Pretty sure there's a couple dental rest, dental dentist offices. <laughs> so I would say, I think that's European Wax, another massage place. So a lot going on in there. That is the vintage. Here's one of the apartment complexes, but there's a handful. And yeah, so that concludes our walking tour of the vintage. This shopping center you would shop at if you lived in the zip code 77070, which is Tomba ISD and Site Fair ISD. I used to live over there. Very nice, you have Lakewood Forest. Tons of options between it's Cyprus and Tomball. The city for 77070 is called Houston. So you have like that building right there. Used to be the old Hewlett Packard, so HP, their headquarters, which is now at 99 and I-45. But Lone Star is there. So a whole college system is there and some other buildings like that's Noble Energy up there. And then if you live in Champion Forest or that Champions area, Memorial Northwest, Glenlock Farms, that zip code is 77379. You would also shop here. So, and then I assume people come from South because it's the nicest shopping center around with lots of good restaurant options. If you lived over here, you would be picking most likely if you wanted this nice shopping center and nice restaurants. You would be picking the Woodlands <clears throat> or the Vintage. So you have two hubs when it comes to restaurants and like boutique like shopping. The main difference between here and the Woodlands, the Woodlands is going to have more options in Market Street, lots of high-end shops. There are no real high-end shops here, which is fine. It just, it has to do with all those high-end shops the demand and the demographics are up in the woodlands and that's why they're there obviously one plus one equals two but this is really close to where I live I would not say we come here once a week but maybe like 40 times a year or something like that but we love Hop Dottie and we love the Indian food restaurant so we have been known to visit them twice in one week before but as you can see, very comfortable, nice area. I just walked around it all by myself. It is Sunday, <clears throat> about 9 a.m. Let's see if we can cross half the street. But love y'all, hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon, bye guys.